What's up guys, welcome back this week. This week's been very chaotic. I have missed a lot of work. I had a lot of overtime. Well, that's not overtime. I got vacation hours and then I came in on Friday night, Saturday morning to catch up because my kids have had the flu, as you know, the people that watch. So I missed a lot of work so my son couldn't go to school. So it's been busy and I've been, I couldn't work on this van at all, at all. So I have footage of me at work and then I have footage from, you know, me with that, the hours that I could get in this van. But uh, we've been working off camera here, getting this hole cut. You guys seen me trace the hole, but I didn't get any footage of me cutting it. But I'll show you what we're doing so you can get caught up to what it, what's going on with it real quick. So I'll go ahead and show you it. A friend of mine, well, I cut the hole out and then my friend came over and helped me box in the uh, the gap that's going to be inside the van. So you won't see the inside of the roof because there's that much of a gap from this is the headliner, obviously. And then this would be the ceiling of the van. You'd see like a black hole in there. But I still got to cut along this with the, the wood you see. So it can look like this side over here. Well, there's nothing showing. I got to do that. And then it'll be ready to go. I've already started cutting, not cutting, but uh, stapling. I'm going to go ahead and leave this like this. So when it gets up in the roof of the van, I'm going to screw the two panels together to give it some more strength. Because this stuff's well, obviously a lot more heavier now because you got two by fours up there with it. And these little things back here don't give it much strength. So we're gonna have to strengthen it up a little. And then the sunroof, I got it sitting here right now. It's screwed in. There's still a little, I cut that cut. I don't know if I told you guys that, but I have a little hole over there and it needs to be welded. I don't know if you can see it, let me show you real quick. Oh, all right, there. So I still gotta get that welded up. And then the roof's ready to paint. And I clean out my garage, got my sun visor up there, and the guard console. So I got some room. But uh Oh yeah. Oh crap, I forgot I gotta cut this. Let's get some more fabric going here. Are you kidding me? I just ran out. Go get some staples real quick. Alright, got some more staples. Let's get this crap going. Over a leaf cut. Remember, I'm leaving this right here so I can set this up and screw these two together and I'll staple it later. Actually, I might not staple it at all. It might just stay where I can still pull it back if I have to get a center fat and reseal it or something. You just never know. This is why you keep extra fur, too. Right here. You're going to see this wood. Keep the backup fur. Just shove it in there and staple it. You'll never see it. I'm telling you. I'm 
Might be a little different color, but it's pretty close. Some more here. I think I'm gonna use this this time. I guess it don't matter. Use the rest of this. done to me I got all this wrapped in fur I've already told you what to do that before but uh I'm gonna have to put some fur here once I get it up in the roof of the van so you'll see that little square but it'll be okay bottom's done as well well this is the back that's the front on the bottom uh, what I'm gonna do next is take the sunroof back out for the 15,000th time because I need to weld up that hole over there I'm going to check it out real quick, actually, and uh, cause hopefully it's the last time I take it out before it goes in for good. I'm going to check it out, make sure nothing else is going to need to be fixed or welded. Just right there. Let it focus. My friend told me to put silicone in it, but I don't know about that. I'd rather it be welded right here right now might as well do it you know oh and i got that big blob of uh this thing focus big blob of glue right there it needs to be sanded down that's no big deal either though Why do that? I need to go up here. <laughs> and also, before I get this headliner back in, I'm wanting to put a 2x4 across here. So I want to screw this headliner in a little better because it's I lost some of the mounting points with the sunroof. This handle on the sunroof also needs to be glued. It's broke, sadly. Back here. Let's take it out. I'm gonna go ahead and shove the welding blanket back up here too while I'm at it. Knock this off.
I know it looks like very much, but I want to get that fixed. And I'm thinking about uh, running some glazing putty over all this in case there's like a bunch of pinholes. Cause I don't want to be fighting no pinholes when this thing's painted. It looks like crap up here. But uh, let's go do something else real quick. Oh crap, you can't see it. Just got done seam sealing this. Ran out, I'm gonna have to get another tube and just go over on along the roof one like one more good pass. Not uh as thick as I was laying it in, but it's seam sealed. Uh all I gotta do now is notch that brace for the handle of the sunroof and it's it's ready to paint. It's seam sealed, that's that's a big plus for me. It's done. Just a little bit more work. Not much, not much at all. Not compared to what we've been doing. Let's get into the fun stuff now. Well, let me get a little further back. To the fun stuff now. <laughs> but I'll get back on it probably tomorrow. Finish seam sealing it and be done with it. And I'll probably sit in here for a little bit until I get a, uh, a good day to get it in the paint booth. It's laid out tonight. I'm setting up this, my headliner. And then I'm gonna trace out the circle. And see what we're gonna do there. I don't know what we're gonna do yet. The heater's blasting over there. There's a pretty big gap. I'm gonna have to figure something out. Maybe some wood or something that, that's bendable around these curves that I could put fabric on. Well, I'll, I'll figure it out. It ain't the hardest thing I've done on this thing, that's for sure. Here, grab that piece there. Throw it up here and trace it. Let's do it real quick. All right, guys, I'm about to lay these panels down on the ground. Oh, I'm getting too fat. So lay these panels on the ground. I'm going to retrace the, the outside of that because I couldn't get the pencil or marker behind that because the roof was in my way. I'm going to redo that, and I'll show you real quick. Lay it out here.
that is going to be it for this week. Uh, we'll get on this whenever I can. It's Thanksgiving week. And last Thanksgiving, I was eight on Thanksgiving. And then right after, I cut out and loaded up my brother's Corvette and got it painted. And I was there for, I was there, I think, Thursday night, Friday, all day Friday. And then I think Saturday we came and got the car. It's cold right now. You guys see the frost coming out of my mouth. But um, that is going to be it. We'll get on this whenever I can. I'm not going to try to work on it too much this week. Maybe this weekend. Maybe Saturday and Sunday. I don't know. We'll see. I want to get this headliner fixed and get all the fabric right on it. And then after that, I just got to wait to get this thing in the booth. And it won't take long to paint. I also I still haven't ordered my paint. I have a little bit left, but I have sealer. I have the epoxy primer. And I have clear coat as well. So all I need is to get my paint. And then I need to get some butyl tape too for the roof, the sunroof. And uh, maybe a little bit more seam seal. Oh yeah, this right here, I got a seam seal. Let me show you. I did squirt some seam sealer in there, but it looks like it all kind of just came out. So I got to get that some more in there. But that is going to be it this week, as I just said. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned, I guess. Just keep coming back to me. Enjoy the videos. I try. You know, I put a little bit of effort into this stuff. So I enjoy it. Just watch it, share, like it. Keep coming back, I guess. See you guys next week. Thanks for watching.